Hello everybody, Jean here with a quick 3i Atlas update. A new photograph taken of this object, 3i Atlas, shows a huge exhaust-like plume and a tail pointing towards the sun. This photograph was taken by Buschner and Nibbling. Let's have a look at the source and then we'll have a look at this strange anomaly and we can read what Avilobe says about this strange phenomenon. I'll include the links to the source pages in the video description. So this observation was done by Michael Abuchner and Frank Nebling. 3R Atlas with tail 9th of November. So there are the photographs folks. Here we can see the huge tail and the anti-tail. And the, even the anti-tail is huge. We'll have a look at what Avi Loeb says about these two tails in a moment. To quote from the article, Interstellar Comet 3R Atlas at 09 11 2025 shows nice tail structures despite interference from moonlight 82% illuminated and a small height of around 9 to 12 degrees. The picture is heavily processed to show the anti-tail and the smoking tail in inverted commas. Now we're looking at Avi Loeb's article, The Remarkable Large-Scale Structures of Anti-Tail and Tail Jets from 3i Atlas, published 20 hours ago. At the current distance of 3i Atlas from Earth, 326 million kilometers, these angular extensions correspond to spatial sizes of 0.95 million kilometers for the sunward anti-tail jets and 2.85 million kilometers for the tail jet away from the sun. If however we consider the possibility that the jets emanating from 3 Atlas are associated with technological thrusters, then the required mass loss can be one to two orders of magnitude smaller with human-made technologies. Chemical rockets are propelled by an exhaust speed of 3 to 5 kilometers per second, which is 10 times larger than the maximum ejection speed of volatiles sublimated by sunlight from cometary surfaces. Ion thrusters reach an even higher ejection speed of 10 to 50 kilometers per second. Furthermore, alien technology might employ thrusters with yet higher speeds, reducing the required mass loss by more than two orders of magnitude and making the required fuel less than a percent of the mass of the spacecraft. Given the considerations, is through our atlas of natural or technological origin. So here we're looking at the original photograph downloaded from Abushner and Nibbling's post. And here we're looking at a negative of that image showing the large anti-tail and the huge plume produced by 3R Atlas not like any we've seen other comets make in the past. Now we're looking at that photograph. I've tried to remove the compression artifacts and I've adjusted the contrast and brightness so that we can see more detail. Check at this plume or cloud. And it's huge. And then the anti-tail, the sun is located to the bottom left. So as always we can only speculate as to what 3i Atlas might be. For now it looks like something totally opposite to a normal comet. The anomalies highlighted by Avi Loeb are just mind-blowing. So let's see what happens when this object gets closer to Earth. Hopefully nothing bad, like I've said in a comment. One of two possibilities. 
and both might be bad. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for further updates.